हेलो आई एम मितांजी पटेल एंड माय प्रोजेक्ट डेफिनेशन इज व्हाट्सएप चैट एनालिसिस विद पाइथन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द कोड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई मेड अ फाइल इन प्री प्रोसेसर एंड इन दिस फाइल आई इंपोज आरिट लाइब्रेरी विच स्टैंड फॉर रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन आई इंपोर्ट पार्नर्स लाइब्रेरी विच इज विच इज ओपन सोर्स फॉर डेटा एनालिसिस इन पाइथन आई इम्पोर्ट एप एंड टेक टाइम एंड देन आई मेक अ फंक्शन इन प्ले प्रोसेसर दैट विल टेक डेटा फ्रॉम द टेक्सट फाइल एंड देन आफ्टर आई टेक वन वेरिएबल दैट टू कंटेन्स द रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन दिस रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन एंड basically uh, we want our dates and messages separately from the text file so हमने ये pattern लिया है और हम uh, एक message नाम के variable में ये message नाम के variable में uh, patterns और data को split करेंगे मतलब कि सिर्फ messages store करेंगे और dates नाम के variable में patterns और data को store uh, uh, पैटर्न्स और डेटा में से जो डेट्स है उसको फाइंड करेंगे नाउ आई आई टेक वन दिस नेम न्यू डेट और इस न्यू डेट डेटा में हम अपना uh, जो डेटा फ्रेम है जो नया वाला डेटा फ्रेम है वो स्टोर करेंगे तो uh, ये वाला जो कोड है वो हमारा न्यू डेटा फॉर्मेट uh, बनेगा और इस डेटा फ्रेम को हम दो कॉलम में डिवाइड करेंगे यूजर यूजर मैसेज एंड मैसेज डेट सो हम डी में वो दोनों कॉलम स्टोर करवाएंगे फिर डी एफ मैसेज डेट में हम जो हमारा मैसेज डेट का फॉर्मेट था वो चेंज करके उसको डेट मंथ ईयर कॉमा आर मंथ और डैश वाले फॉर्मेट में कन्वर्ट uh, करेंगे उसके बाद हम यूज़र uh, और मैसेजेस नाम का दो लिस्ट लेंगे और इस यूज़र और मैसेजेस uh, वाले लिस्ट uh, में हम चेक करवाएंगे अगर uh, हमारा जो टेक्स्ट था मतलब कि जो मैसेजेस थे उसमें से जो यूज़र नेम थे उनको अलग से स्टोर करवाना है तो उसलिए हम उसको चेक करवाएंगे अगर अगर एंट्री में फर्स्ट नेम यूज़र नेम है तो वो यूज़र वाली लिस्ट में स्टोर होगा और अगर हमारे जो मैसेजेस है वो अगर ग्रुप नोटिफिकेशन या और कोई मैसेजेस है तो वो डायरेक्टली मैसेज वाले कॉलम में ऐड हो जाएंगे ना हमने जितना भी डेटा चेक करवाया हम वो कॉलम में ऐड करेंगे वो सारे कॉलम यूज़र में यूज़र ऐड होगा मैसेजेस में मैसेजेस ऐड होंगे और ओनली डेट्स में जो हमारी डेट थी मतलब कि हमारी डेट इस वाली फॉर्मेट में थी कि डे मंथ और ईयर पर हम हम उसको डेट में से जो डे होता है लेट्स फॉर एग्जांपल नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन जनवरी तो उसमें से हम 21, 20 ऐसे डेट स्टोर करेंगे उसके बाद नाउ इट इज इट स्टोर ईयर ओनली ईयर 2022, 2023 ऐसे फिर हम मंथ का नंबर स्टोर करवाएंगे और उसके बाद मंथ का नाम एंड फिर आल्सो स्टोर डे डे नेम आर एंड मिनट नाउ कम टू दी एप डॉट पी वाई तो एप डॉट पी वाई में आई आई इम्पोर्ट पांडा स्ट्रीमलिट स्ट्रीमलिट इज स्ट्रीमलिट इज स्ट्रीमलिट इज डेटा वो डेटा स्क्रिप्ट को रनेबल एप्लीकेशन में कन्वर्ट करने के लिए होता है ना आई ऑल्सो इम्पोर्ट हेल्पर प्री प्रोसेसर मेट प्लॉट लिप डॉट पाई प्लॉट इसके टू पेंट प्लॉट्स एंड चार्ट इम्पोर्ट सी बॉन स्ट्रीम एंड हियर आई इम्पोर्ट वन इमेज एंड एस टी डॉट साइड फ्रॉम एस टी डॉट साइड बाय डॉट इमेज आई विल जनरेट अ साइड 
I will generate a sidebar and uh, uh, sd dot sidebar dot title uh, from sd dot sidebar dot title I will name this application WhatsApp chat analysis. Now upload file dot sd dot sidebar dot file upload function uh, we will generate a button so that you can upload your file from your computer uh, and if upload file is not none. Uh, if upload file is uh, none, so uh, this uh, this code will be run and it will uh, upload. Uh, it will show a message that upload your chats in uh, this particular format. Or uh, if upload file is not none, so it will take the uh, values from that file and convert it into uh, and record into in data and uh, now from uh, processor file we will uh, uh, store the data in tf from processor file and uh, uh, pro for from dot data frame we will show that data into us uh, into the screen so uh, this code is for um, convert your data into csv for format so Basically, when you upload your file, it will uh, it shows a button that uh, download as CSV, uh, and by uh, uh, and if you hover on it, it will show this message when you click on download button. Or what such the text data will be converted to clean downloadable CSV file. Uh, if you click on that button, it will uh, download the uh, file uh, as this name format. Dot CSV. Now coming to the fetch unique user. Uh, this application will uh, show the particular user analysis also. So uh, from the uh, from the WhatsApp group, if you want to want the analysis of particular user, so this will uh, this will the code for it. So in user list. Uh, uh, df user dot unique dot to list that list all the unique user in the group user list dot remove group notification that removes the group notification from the text file then uh, we will uh, short the user list using uh, user list dot short then user list dot insert zero uh, overall uh, that uh, insert overall uh, overall button or we can say text in the drop down menu so if you click on overall and uh, click on show analysis uh, with respect to it will show the analysis of overall group and if you want uh, if you want you can also choose a particular user so if we if you press on show analysis for overall uh, it will show these items in your uh, screen that is the uh, number of messages words number of media messages and number of links for this i have created one function in helper.py uh, that ca that uh, will count the number of messages number of links number of words uh, and number of media into your text file and uh, 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 by calling this function we can display on our screen so the same thing i have done uh, with uh, column 1 column 2 column 3 and column 4 uh, i have uh, i have called the function helper.fetch state pass selected user and data frame into it and it will be it will uh, count for uh, the numbers for me and uh, it will display uh, the numbers uh, in output next uh, after the numbers of messages and all um, into the monthly timeline so it will count uh, the most uh, most uh, active month and most the uh, unactive month uh, from uh, you and display it uh, using the form of chart 
Uh, for this, I also created one method for monthly timeline called monthly timeline. And by calling this function, we will count the number of uh, messages per month. Uh, and uh, we can show into a chart. So this is the function from which we can count the number. And uh, by calling it uh, helper.monthly.timeline function, we will uh, we will display this chart in our uh, in our uh, screen. So uh, it will uh, show our output of a chart. Uh, and uh, next thing is the daily timeline. So uh, it will. It will show the uh, daily uses of the of that WhatsApp group, uh, and uh, uh, for this in helper.py, I created one uh, function of daily the name daily dot uh, daily timeline. It will count the number of uh, number of messages per day and uh, uh, return the daily, uh, return them. And by calling this function, function we can simply uh, form the uh, chart chart of a daily timeline uh, same as previous one uh, next is weekly activity so in weekly activity we have two charts uh, uh, one is week uh, week day activity and uh, second is mo month activity map so first uh, in uh, week activity map we have created one function week activity map uh, that uh, that can uh, that can uh, count the number of uh, uh, day uh, which which is uh, uh, most uh, which is most active days in uh, your chat so it will return it and by calling this function we can simply uh, form a chart of that through this line of code and uh, in second column we will uh, form a chart for month activity map so uh, in month activity map function it uh, it is also as uh, same as previous it will count the name of month that is most active in your uh, chat so it simply return the uh, uh, the month name and uh, by calling this function we can form the chart of that uh, particular uh, month activity map uh, next is weekly hours activity map so uh, in weekly hours activity uh, part we can uh, show the most active hours of the week of the week we can display it to, from our uh, chart uh, and for this we have create i have created uh, activity heat map function and uh, uh, this is uh, this this uh, count the most active uh, hours of the day of the week and this uh, return it and from uh, by calling this function we can plot a cha uh, chart uh, very easily then next is finding the busiest user the mo most active user of your chat uh, of your group chat so if uh, uh, selected user is equal to overall it will count for overall group uh, overall group and it will uh, uh, only work if you select the overall uh, analysis uh, and uh, for this I have created a most busy user and I have passed the data frame uh, to the to the function and it will simply uh, the it will simply uh, count the value of user uh, that uh, count the value that uh, of messages that the particular user sent uh, and the most uh, most uh, highest number of messages the user have it will pick it will become the most active user of the group so uh, it will simply return the name of the user and for this uh, from this we can uh, we can create a chart of that uh, particular uh, uh, particular active users uh, next is uh, 
वर्ड वर्ड क्लाउड फॉर वर्ड क्लाउड इज द मोस्ट कॉमन वर्ड्स दैट यूज इन टू द चैट इन टू द चैट सो इन हेल्पर डॉट पी पी वाय आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ फंक्शन नेम क्रिएट वर्ड क्लाउड इट विल इफ एंड अ हाई ए अ इंग्लिश डॉट टी एक्स दी फाइल आई हैव क्रिएटेड that contain uh, and uh, that contains the words that is that is the common words okay so uh, i have uh, uh, and uh, i have i have open this file and read it and uh, and store into the stop words if selected user is not equal to overall uh, the data frame will be this and um, Uh, in temp variable uh, i have stored the group notification and media omitted words so except for this two and this top words the words remaining uh, from uh, which words have remaining the word cloud will count the words from only that words so it will count the most common words from that words and uh, return it and after the function ends it uh, uh, after the function ends it will have the uh, most used words in the chat so uh, it uh, by this function uh, this line of code it will plot the word cloud in into your uh, project now the most com uh, most common words that uh, Uh, and their uh, count it will display the uh, it will display the graph from the most uh, for most common words uh, uh, that uh, how many times the word used so for this i have uh, created one function name most common words and in this uh, uh, same as previous this uh, words uh, this words Uh, are excluded and only uh, the words are remaining it will count and uh, uh, and this function uh, have the count of the words at the end and uh, uh, it will uh, display it will display the in the form of chart and uh, uh, at the end uh, at the end when you uh, complete your program you can simply uh, run your program using streamlit run app.py it will take some time and after it is run successfully so when you upload your chat it will show the data of your from your chat and you can use wide board if you want and you can also download your data as csv this is the data of your chat and if you uh, press on show analysis it will show the all all the analysis of your whatsapp chat group you can see monthly timeline daily timeline activity map most busy day and most busy month weekly hours of activity map most busy username word cloud most used word and if you want you can choose a particular person for your analysis so this is my project hope you like it and if you want the code of this project you can find it in the description and always be a learner thank you